we all have children. What are some of the things that you do, Mike, to raise your children to be able to see some of the things that Isaiah is warning us against? One of the things my wife and I have done is, and my wife has set the pattern for this, is listening to and respecting our children. I think God does that for Israel. He allows them to put on the tinkling ornaments. He allows them to do these things and he listens to them. And I think when someone feels respected and listened to, when they get in trouble, Israel goes back to God. When my children get in trouble, they know that they can come to my wife and I. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the kids take a while to come back. It's, it's not something that happens immediately. Mm-hmm. But there's power and there's a pattern that God shows. He says, I keep working in my vineyard. I don't quit working. I continue to nourish and continue to do this. And even when the the wall gets torn down and things crumble in somebody's life, they're knowing that there is a safe harbor to come to. There is a safe person to come to. There is a safe person that is willing to listen to whatever they have to say. And and that takes years to develop that and to build that trust. But for us, that has been our most successful thing. And we don't have perfect children by any means, nor do we have no problems in our family. But respecting, listening to, and seeing the innocence of and the goodness and the eternal beauty of our children has made a tremendous difference. I think that's the way that God deals with us. Mm -hmm.